What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV and I was pleasantly surprised this morning when the postman delivered this special bag from Google. So let's go ahead and look at what they've sent me. So firstly, the bag itself is just a plain black bag with the G Google logo embroidered into the bag itself in silver. Looks really, really nice. And opening it up, we have a few different packages inside here, all in the Google branded colors. There's also a Google Play 25 pounds voucher. Awesome. And this is the biggest box here. Nothing else inside, cool. So initially, as well as the Google Play voucher, we've got this uh, tag which you can sew onto one of your clothes. So you know, maybe on the arm here or something. We've got the G logo there, awesome. Then we've got some stickers. So these are all in the Google colors and we've got all of the alphabet here on both sides as well as the G Google logo. And then we've got these hashtag team pixel logos all in the Google colors once again. And then we have what I know you guys are most interested in seeing and what I'm most interested in seeing and that is what's in these packages. So let's go ahead and open this small one up first. Packed very nicely thanks to the Google team. Aha. So first up, we do have the Google Home Mini, which is in the, is that the charcoal color? Yes, it is the charcoal color. That is absolutely awesome. Let's go ahead and get out the box. And there we have it. That looks really, really cool. It's kind of the exact same size as a donut. I uh, could just take a bite out of it. Uh, really like the nice sleek design of this uh, with this fabric at the top. Then we have this grip at the bottom with a switch here as well as a micro USB input. USB-C would have been nice. And as well as the Google Home Mini, you also get the Let's Get Started guide and the power adapter. So for those of you guys who don't know about the Google Home Mini, it's essentially what it says. It's a mini Google Home. I've already got the Google Home, which is a smart speaker. And this you can set up anywhere in your home. And you're gonna be able to ask it things. You're gonna be able to control your home with it as well once you sync things like your lights and stuff. Really, really cool. I'll be checking this out more. I've already got the Google Home upstairs, so I'll most likely be setting this up downstairs. Thank you. Now let's have a look at what's in these parcels. Um, I'm gonna look at what's in here first, and I have a bit of a feeling what it might be. You guys ready for it? Turn heads. <laughs> yes. Here we have the Google Pixel Book. Awesome, I have been so looking forward to checking this out. All right, we have the plastic off and let's just go ahead and open this small one up as well because I think I know what this might be as well. Yep. Okay, that one didn't work out too well. And this is the Pixel Book pen, which is gonna work alongside the Pixel Book. We'll have a look at the Pixel Book pen in a second. Let's get this bad boy out of the box. Wow. This does look very, very nice. And it's only around one kg, so super light too. So as well as the Pixel Book inside the box, you get the power adapter, the USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable, and then there is some paperwork. Very, very nice. So the first thing that you will notice is the very premium and sleek looking build. This is an aluminum or aluminum uni body. And then we've got this glass panel at the top. This kind of follows on from the design language that we have on the pixels. And you'll also notice how thin this thing is. This is just about 10.3 millimeters thin with just about a kg's worth of weight, which is very, very light. Now what's cool about the pixel book is that you've got these 360 hinges and that means that you can have it as a laptop, you can just completely have it flat out, you can use it as a media player, or you can just put it all the way around and then use it as a tablet. Now, looking around the Pixel Book, you can see that we've got a USB Type-C input on the left-hand side, as well as a 3.5 mm headphone jack. We've got a volume rocker, as well as a power button. On the right-hand side, we just have another single USB Type-C port. An SD card port would have been nice, but this is not included. So if you do want to use an SD card, you are going to have to get a dongle. And then opening this up, you can see that we've got a keyboard on here. And this is a backlit keyboard. Has a decent amount of travel on it. And we've got this soft touch material here at the bottom as well as the glass touchpad. Uh, glass touchpad feels actually quite nice. And these little soft panels will also act as a grip when you've got this the other way around. At the top, we've also got a 720p front-facing camera, which can film at 60 frames a second. You've also got dual stereo speakers, which should give you some decent surround sound. 
And then let's move on to the display. This is a 12.3 inch LCD display with a Quad HD resolution. So that's 2400 by 1600 pixels, around 235 PPI pixel density, which is definitely quite high for a laptop. In terms of the internals, this thing is very, very powerful. It's available in some different configurations. It comes with a seventh generation Intel Core processor, either i5 or i7. You've got either eight or 16 gigabytes of RAM. And in terms of storage, you've got either 128 256 or 512 gigabytes SSD storage. Obviously these will vary in price and if you want the latest pricing and availability details those will be linked in the description below. And for the battery Google is saying that you should be able to get up to 10 hours of usage out of this thing and also be able to charge it up quite quickly. Now I've just gone ahead and set this up and it was very quick and easy to do because it's running Chrome OS very similar to setting up your smartphone, just need to connect onto Wi-Fi and your Google account and boom. And because this is a Google Pixel book, it's actually the first laptop that has built-in Google Assistant. Now this can be launched in many ways by voice, via this dedicated Google Assistant button, and also by using the Pixel book pen. So let's just go ahead and open this up. Here is the pen. We have some info and then we have a battery, quad A battery, is that what you call it? It's got four A's and there we go. Now this pen you actually have to buy separately, it doesn't come included, it's around $99 or 99 pounds and it has been made in partnership with Wacom. Some of you guys may or may not know that I actually use Wacom bamboo tablets. I've got quite a few and I actually have been using them in replacement of a mouse on my PC for many, many years now. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking this out. And what you can do with this pen is actually just go ahead and circle something, say for example, this Google logo, and then a Google Assistant is actually gonna find what that's about and give you some more information. So very, very cool. Now another advantage of the Google Pixel book is that because it's Chromebook, you can have Chrome OS as well as Android apps. And that means you can have things like Instagram as well as Snapchat running on a laptop. This is something you can't traditionally do. And if you're somebody like me who posts lots of pictures on Instagram, there's many instances when I actually wanna upload an image from a laptop after I've done some editing to it, maybe added some text to it or something. Then I have to usually send it to my phone and then upload it to Instagram. With the Pixel Book, I can do this all within here. You've also got the new instant tethering feature, which is gonna instantly tether from your Google Pixel 2. And you're not gonna have to faff around by setting up a hotspot or anything like that. This should just work seamlessly. So guys, those were the mystery packages from Google that we've unboxed here. What do you guys think of these products, in particular the Google Pixel Book? definitely drop me a comment below and let me know. Also let me know if there's anything in detail that you'd like me to cover with these products. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. And if you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe and switch your notifications. We've got lots more content coming up on here. Thanks for watching and thank you Google for sending me all of this gear. This is Saf on Super Saf TV and I'll see you next time.